Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and it's 1.13 p.m. and it's Saturday, May 7th, 2022. Um, about a week ago, I went to the McAllister Walmart. I went there to try to see if they had the new Naruto G Fuel Energy Drink, because um, it's only at certain Walmarts. It's mostly at the Walmarts that have, like, the G Fuel coolers, and that's the only, like, um, Walmart near me that I know of that has a G Fuel cooler. And um, they didn't have the Naruto G Fuel, but they had a G Fuel that I haven't reviewed before. Um, I reviewed one that was sort of similar to this, because they released um, this flavor alongside the Spider-Man one. But um, today's one I'm going to be reviewing is the Venom Let There Be Carnage Black Ooze G Fuel Energy Drink. So, oh yeah, boys, look at that can. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. But yeah, I think they only came out with one design for this can, I'm not for sure. But um, the Spider-Man one, it has three different designs, the Radioactive Lemonade one. But um, anyway, so yeah... So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, and it was like, um, two dollars, I guess, okay price, but um, anyway, silver top of the silver tab, bombs of Best Buy in production code, um, Best Buy September 5th, 2023, so it's still fresh for a while, it's in a labeled can, her on the top is a zero sugar, extreme focus, performance energy, See the movie Venom Let There Be Carnage, G Fuel Black Ooze Energy Drink, 16 fluid ounces, 1 pint, 473 milliliters, naturally flavored, 0 calories per can. It shows Venom on the side of it. G Fuel, the official drink of esports, Marvel, and all related characters, names, copyright and trademark 2021 Marvel, Venom the movie, copyright 2021, CPIIR, all rights reserved. Shows Venom, he has his tongue sticking out and his sharp teeth. Really cool looking can, I like the look of it. I was like the G Fuel like other background pattern, you know, with like the dots and stuff that's on like all the other G Fuels. It's a little bit hard to see right now though, so I'm sorry about that. It's a little bit reflective. But I like the can, it's cool. Actually a very simple can design, not a lot of stuff on the can. So yeah. This side has SKU, warning too much caffeine may cause sickness, irritability, nervousness, and possibly rapid heartbeat. Not recommended for use by individuals on the age of 18. One serving of G Fuel provides 300 milligrams of caffeine, which is more than two cups of coffee. Some vitamins are likely to degrade at the time of manufacturing. So, ah oh yeah, boys, ah oh yeah, ah oh yeah, ah oh yeah, we'll get you lit. It's really strong to OD, drink in moderation, because it has 300 milligrams of caffeine. Caution, do not use this part if you're pregnant or nursing, and not consume this part if you have any medical condition. Or taking any prescription drug, this product contains caffeine and should not be used with any other products containing caffeine. This product is intended for use by healthy individuals only. Use of this product assumes all liability if used in a manner not consistent with label guidelines. So yeah, um, so you know, so yeah, don't OD drink in moderation, you know, because it yeah, has really strong. It has other ingredients, carbonated water, malic acid, sodium gluconate, natural flavor, vitamin and amino acid blend is L-tyrosine, vitamin C, L-theanine, zinc gluconate, niacin, vitamin B6, vitamin B12. Caffeine, potassium, beta, hydroxybutyrate, citric acid, potassium sorbate, which is a preservative, potassium citrate, sucralose, acylphane, potassium, green coffee bean extract, green tea extract, turmeric extract, tart cherry, blueberry, broccoli, and kale. Um, all those like vegetable ingredients are like in like all the G fuels. So it's like interesting that they use the vegetables and they're like blend, you know. Trojan fact starting size one can, 473 milliliters, but doesn't say like the amount, you know, of the vegetables. So that's interesting too. Amount per serving calories, zero total fat, zero grams, zero percent, sodium 65 milligrams, three percent. Total carbohydrates, zero grams, zero percent, total sugar, zero grams, includes zero grams, add sugar, zero percent, protein, zero grams. Potassium 210 milligrams, four percent, vitamin C 45 milligrams, fifty percent, niacin four milligrams, twenty-five percent, vitamin B6 zero point four milligrams, twenty-five percent, vitamin B12 zero point six milligrams, twenty-five percent, zinc two point two milligrams, twenty percent, three hundred milligrams caffeine for sixteen foot ounces. Started by G Field LLC, 113 Alder Street, West Babylon, New York. 11704. Questions or comments? Call telephone numbers 877 426 6262. So, yeah, that's pretty much the entire can. So, I'll let you see it right quick. I already showed you the top and the bottom. The can is like sweating. Sorry about that. Shiny black ooze. I like the font. The black ooze looks pretty cool. I'll 
I'll show the can up close in a minute though too. So I don't know if you'll be able to see this little text and stuff pretty good or not. Get the SKU in the morning and stuff. The other ingredients. Might be able to see this side. Pretty good though. Okay, now for the nutrition pack side. Distributor information, the rest of the can. Yeah, it's a really cool looking can. Anyway, now I'm going to show it off the close for a minute, so hold on a minute. Okay, I show off the can up close, and I'm going to shake it up a little bit, open it, taste it, and give my review for it. So hold on a minute. Yeah, and all these, like, um, all the G Fuel energy drinks are, like, mostly clear because there's no artificial colors. But it would have been interesting if this one's the liquid was black, though, because it's called Black Ooze. But, yeah, it's clear, though. But, yeah, it's a little bit carbonated. It has a little bit of bubbles. So yeah, I think this one, the liquid should have been black. That would have been cool. Like it was like all black, you know? Because um, yeah, it's called Black Ooze. Um, but um, anyway, I think there's also a Red Ooze one for Carnage, though. Actually, these ones, I don't think they came out the same time as the Spider-Man one, but you know what I mean? But um, anyway, yeah, the scent. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, well, well. can't really smell it. I had to be like up really close to smell it. it has a little bit of like a lime scent. Uh, but I can't really tell anything else though. I mostly just smell like a lime sort of scent. But like a sweet lime. A little bit like one of those like um, key lime pie popsicles a teeny bit. It smells a little bit like that. It has a little bit of like a vanilla scent. Uh, maybe a little bit berry though, see what I mean? Okay, yeah, the smell's pretty good though. It does have a little bit of like an ice cream scent. It might smell a teeny bit like the um, one you feel that I reviewed before. That was like a sherbet um, kind. It smells a little bit like that too, like a sherbet ice cream sort of. Yeah, it has like an ice cream scent, but maybe a little bit lime though. But um, anyway, now I'm going to try it, so here goes. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, 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 well. There's not really a flavor that I can like um, pinpoint. Um, it's a little bit weird. It doesn't really have like its own unique flavor. It does have a little bit of a citrusy berry taste, but, um, yeah, it does have a little bit of a lime taste. Yeah, I'm mostly tasting lime, but it's like a very sweet lime. It's like a very light lime. It's not really too noticeable, you know, but, um, I'm definitely tasting the lime, but, um, Can't really taste anything else, hardly. Yeah, it does have a little bit of like a vanilla flavor. So I think this supposed to be almond. To me, that's more like a key lime pie sort of flavored energy drink. 
but it's not like a strong sort of key lime pie. Definitely not as like a noticeable as like the key lime pie bang energy drink, you know. This one's definitely more of like a lighter, I don't know, fruitier sort of taste, but it's also a little bit creamier. Yeah, it does have a little bit like an ice cream sort of flavor. So yeah, it is similar to like the sherbet um, G Fuel that I reviewed before, but um, that one's way more noticeable. You know, that one's definitely more like rainbow sherbet ice cream. This though it does have a little bit of an ice cream flavor, but um, I don't know, mostly tastes just lime though. But like a barely noticeable lime, but still a really sweet flavor. But um, I don't know, can't really taste this one. Definitely like a mixed fruit sort of flavor, but um, I don't know. It's like if you had like the lime sherbet ice cream. It'd be like that, um, but um, not as strong in the lime as the lime sherbet ice cream, but like a lighter version of that. So to me, it's like a, mm, I don't know, like a lime ice cream sort of flavor, but like a, not of a strong, strong lime, just a, like a light lime. See what I mean? Um, so yeah, this flavor is weird. I don't know. Can't really hardly taste this one. Um, most of the G Fuels have like this one weird taste. Like all the G Fuels have like a base flavor. This is like basically just the base flavor, but um, that's like in all the other G Fuels. So maybe with a little bit more of a hint of more lime though, but um, still pretty good. But um, has a way cooler can design, but um, the flavor though, not really that noticeable, you know, just saying to me anyway. But yeah, it's mostly tasting just lime though, but um, barely though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay price, like around two dollars. Like at the Walmart and McAllister, it's like in the G Fuel cooler, you know, up by the cash register aisles, you know. Energy wise, so it works really good. It has three hundred milligrams caffeine. So oh yeah, boys, it will get you lit. It will get you lit. You know, just saying. So oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I forgot to mention. I think this is supposed to be. Actually, I think this flavor on the red um, carnage one. They're supposed to be based off of like licorices, I think. This is supposed to be like black licorice, and the red one's supposed to be, you know, like the red licorice. Can't really taste like licorice though, or black licorice. I don't know. To me, though, it's more like a, you know, like a lime flavor, but um, I guess it might taste a little bit like licorice, but um, not too much though. But yeah, it's 300 milligrams of caffeine, so it'll definitely get you lit. So, oh yeah, boys, oh yeah, we'll get you lit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Energy-wise, it works really good. It's definitely really strong. Don't OD during moderation. Say so energy-wise, lasts about five and a half hours, about six and a half hours of energy. May work a little bit more. Has a cool can design, like Venom and stuff. I like Spider-Man, like Spider-Man characters. I used to love like Spider-Man a lot when I was a little kid. So what I mean? I used to have like Spider-Man action figures and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is a cool G Fuel energy drink. Definitely like the can more than the flavor. I'm a little bit disappointed in the flavor. Can't really taste it hardly. Basically just getting like the, you know, the base G Fuel flavor on this one. But still okay though, but um, yeah, it could have been way better though, just saying. Um, but yeah, I'll try to get the Carnage one and review that one sometime if I can get that one. Um, I think it might actually be just this same flavor, just red, I'm not really for sure, but I think it's, it's a different flavor though, see what I mean? Um, but yeah, energy-wise it works really good, it has a cool can design, it has okay price, but yeah, the flavor... Yeah, um, definitely yeah. need some work on it, I guess. Um, I don't know, this one I can barely taste, see what I mean? Um, yeah, a little bit disappointed in this one, but um, I really like the can design still, see what I mean? But it's still actually pretty, pretty good though, energy-wise it works at so okay price, so yeah, I'm going to get the Black Ooze G Fuel Energy Drink. Even though I can't really hardly taste this one, it's still actually pretty good though, even though it tastes a little weird. I'll probably give it a 9 out of 10. So, oh yeah, boys, it's still lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Oh yeah, still definitely try it if you can find it. This is a really cool can design. If you like Spider-Man stuff, definitely get it, you know, for your collection. Um, Energy-wise, it works really good. It's okay price, but yeah, the flavor, a little bit weird, you know, just saying a little bit disappointing. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's still lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Anyway, my next review... I'm going to be reviewing the Lewis Hamilton Monster Energy Drink. So, for that review, I finally got it at my local Dollar Tree um, a couple days ago. I got it on Thursday. They only had six cans left because uh, I think they only got one case of it. 
but um, I got four of the six cans I had, so they still had two cans left, but someone might have bought them by now, though. But um, yeah, I'll be reviewing that in my next review, so for that review, some more outcome reviews, some more videos, thanks for watching, see you guys later, peace out, and bye.